it's currently 21 degrees in Lincoln and yeah we got the heated gear on the highs yeah yeah um, so 21 degrees it's chilly you know the only thing I really have to worry about is my shoes and my head getting cold because I got heated stuff on now the heated gear is uh, is working it's working it's working well um, my my fingers are still a little bit cold because uh, you know when fingers get cold it's pretty tough to warm them up but I don't have anything protecting my hands from the wind so maybe I'll just do this no but I am on my way to my buddy Rocky's house to do the legend suspension on the front end of this thing and you're thinking to yourself but Josh you didn't strap down your helmet I didn't did I no I didn't so let's grab that strap tuck it into my something so it's not completely blown around on them. I can't. I can't. Where are you? Strap. We'll tuck that into the coat. Okay. So yeah, my fingers are getting cold still, even with it on high. I can still feel the heat, but I don't have my center on, Rocky. I just called to see if it was cold out yet. It's cold. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on my way. But I know once I get into Lincoln, this heated gear is going to cook me. So all I got to do oh. is get into Lincoln. All you got to do, I'm going to start cooking us some breakfast. Oh, okay. Cool. So, all right, buddy. I'll see you when you get here. All right, thanks, man. You bet. You bet. Also, I have the new transition visor. And it is actually changed just a little bit. If you can see in the mirror or not, I doubt you can. I always do that and it's like, you guys, you can't see what's in the mirror, Josh. But the heated gear is on, it's on high. It's 21 degrees. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm not necessarily completely enjoying it. I mean, that's relative, right? I mean, enjoying it. I always enjoy being on a bike, no matter what. But. I mean, there are times that are better than others, and this is probably one of those times that's not better than others, but at the same time, I mean, it it's doable. So when I alternate my hands like that and I pull another hand in and just kind of clench it up a little bit and get it out of the wind, it warms up. So I'm going to keep doing that until I get into Lincoln up here and then once I'm actually in town, I know that I'll be warm. Now the only thing that I'm worried about is ice because yesterday it was in the 40s and as you can see there's still snow on the ground. So a lot of that snow melted and ran across the road. Well that will freeze again overnight because it's 21 degrees. So that's the only thing that I am worried about, especially in the residential streets. but. I think if I stick to the main roads, I should be all right. Now, like I said earlier, I do have a trailer. Yes, I could have put this in the trailer last night, got up half asleep, woke up this morning, fired the pickup up, just drove into town. But I'm changing the suspension, so I want to ride it the same day that I change it. That was kind of what I was, I wish I could have done that with the rear suspension. But when we got back from New Mexico and Amy bought me the rear suspension for my birthday uh, early, obviously she let me have it right away, but um, I, I did it in my garage and then I wasn't able to ride it for a couple weeks. And I was not able to ride it the days prior either. So I mean, I know it obviously made a huge difference. I just wish I could have felt the difference in this, like the same day, you know what I mean? But you know, open up a vent, my head's getting a little hot. Lower down. Okay, so the soft lowers, huge help right now. The wind's not just smoking my feet. <laughs> so I am coming into Lincoln now. Slower speed limits, obviously less wind. Will be very much warmer. On my way home, it should be in the 40s. I mean, you know, 20 degrees warmer than what it is right now. Come on, that's gonna be, that's gonna be cake. 
you know what's cool is that the heated liners are inside my pants so everybody's gonna think that I'm just wearing normal jeans and my liner was on medium it wasn't even on my pants liner was on medium it was not on high make sure that Somehow my jacket liner got on medium too, so now everything is on high. My gloves are always on high, I can see those pretty easy. That's going to make a big difference. So with snow and ice and freezing rain and all that comes salt in Nebraska. They put salt on the roads to melt it. It, it works great. It's very important to do that. It's also very important to clean up your bike after you ride through it because that salt, as some of you guys know down south, like in Florida and Hawaii, stuff like that, that salt air and that salt getting kicked up onto your vehicle is no good. So heated gloves are great. Not the best in 20 degree weather when they're in the wind. I don't really think you can expect anything to be great there. I wonder what the uh, what the windshield graph is at uh, 70 mile an hour at 21 degrees. I'll have to look that up, put it up here. I'll open up my visor because fogging up a little bit. I really don't want to, but oh, no, that ain't bad at all. My nose is running a little bit. Crazy. <laughs> My feet aren't cold though. These shoes are awesome. Kudos to Harley. I know they didn't make them, but kudos to my Harley shoes anyway. So my pin lock is freezing up. I don't know if I have a gap. I put it on maybe wrong. There's a little bit of moisture in there for some reason. Um, but it's frozen. <laughs> there. <laughs> so, but I did open up my vent. So I don't know if that had a lot to do with it. You know, I mean it could have. Could have had everything to do with it. So. Hopefully that ice is just on the inside of the pin lock though, not in between in the air gap. That would be horrible. Rosa Parksway. Okay, so out of respect for Rocky, I'm not going to show you guys where he lives, but this is the hot wired heated gear in 20 degrees weather at 8.30 in the morning. Not the most highly recommended thing to do. It is still pretty chilly. Uh, my fingers are cold, but I think if you had like hand protectors or whatever, I think you'd be fine. So if you want to ride really, really bad, it works. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when you load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road. All right, everybody made it into town. So I'm at my buddy's Rocky's house and we're going to install Legends suspension. Ain't nothing but work, right? <laughs> <laughs>